when I'm out of the door at half past five in the morning and I'm sitting on a row machine on my own and my arse is killing me, my shoulders are burning, I'm bored out of my mind. I just think anyone who's been in a position where they've had to battle for their lives would trade everything to be in the position that I'm in and be alive. So at the start of 2014, we sat down with a group of friends together. I challenged all of the guys and said to them, what's their C? When your life is eulogized, A, you're a fantastic person. B, you're fantastic at your job. You're a great X, Y, Z family man. Then the next thing for me was C, what else is gonna be said about your life? That's essentially how this all started. And then all of a sudden I had an idea that I think we could row the channel. I've never rowed. I've never even sat in a rowing boat. And I think that's what makes it so terrifying. In 2005, my mum was diagnosed with breast cancer. On September the 15th, 2014, I was told by the doctors that she had a week to live. On September the 18th, the Wednesday, we had our first team meeting with the seven crew. I phoned in and the six of the crew were sitting around the table and I read them a few words that I'd pulled together. Today, I had to do something that I wouldn't wish on anyone. I sat with my mother and told her the things that I've always wanted to tell her before she passes away. In that list included a very relevant point. I said, I only ever wanted to make you proud. Today we agree to commit to a monumental personal journey. A personal journey that can only be achieved through working together as a team. Working for each other, your crew, your brothers, no matter what. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Let's row for ourselves, let's row for each other, let's row to make a difference. My phone beeped a few minutes later with a message and on that message there was a photo attached of the six crew, all in their Waves for Hope t-shirts, holding a sign saying, this is for you, Sue. Life is so much bigger than just having a job and just getting on with things. You know, you get one life, you get one shot at doing what you want to do. And if you're not going to do it now, then when are you going to do it? You know, you can't just keep deferring things till tomorrow, because quite frankly, tomorrow might never come. I don't know what it's going to feel like to be so far out in the channel. I imagine it's going to feel desperately lonely, certainly very isolated. One way you're going to be 25 miles from Belgium, the other way you're going to be 25 miles from England. We are quite literally all facing the same direction. Um, you know, we're all here to achieve exactly the same thing. I think at the end of the journey should be glowing. I'll have her with me the whole journey, but you know, I think if she was standing there waiting for us at the harbour, I think she'd just have a big smile on her face and I think she'd be immensely proud. <laughs>